Hi, we're crushing grapes today. This is the day we've been waiting for. I'm John at Holly Wines and it's the 30th of September and we're finally picking our Merlot. Almost a month behind schedule, but uh, the grapes are just fantastic. They've had an extra month to hang out there and develop good flavor. The temperatures have been rather mild all season long, which is, has led to the retainment, retaining high acidity and also a lot of fruity flavor. So we're, we're thinking that these grapes are going to be really superb. And uh, so we're pumping them right now into the bottom of the tank. You see them coming in. You can see that uh, there's already some color coming out of the juice as the, as the grapes come in here. And that's a sign that it's going to make a really dark wine because oftentimes the juice is just clearer when we crush. So uh, this is what we've been waiting for. We hope it's going to be fantastic. So we're, we're picking up our, our half-ton harvest bins of grapes and we're dumping those clusters into the receiving hopper, which meters them slowly and evenly into the stemmer crusher. That's important for the stemmer crusher to operate properly. The stemmer crusher has those helically arranged paddles that knock the berries off of the stems and the berries fall through the holes along with the juice into the tray below and get conveyed into our fermenters. So we're, we're removing the stems and so we're just going to be fermenting the skins with the seeds and the juice. We don't want the stems because stems add bitterness and coarseness to the wine. We're not looking to make coarse bitter wines and in fact this, these hillside vineyards give us very very powerfully flavored wines and if we're not careful they can be very tannic as well. So we have to manage that tannin in the winery during the fermentation and the aging period. 